good morning. We are on the campus of UC Davis, specifically right outside the Mondavi Center, because it will be inside here that five of those six town hall meetings will occur throughout the day for students, staff, faculty, and student leaders. A sixth going to be held in Sacramento. Now, take a look. The whole purpose of these town halls is to make sure students and faculty have their voices heard in the search to replace this woman, former UC Davis Chancellor Linda Katehi. Again, the goal of these town halls is going to be number one to release the results of an online survey in which the Associated Students or ASUCD had asked for student opinions and feedback on what kind of leader they want to see step into that role here on this campus. And then secondly, to make sure that their voices are included in this process. Now remember it was back in August that uh, US, UC President Jenna Napolitano announced the search for Katehi's replacement and as part of that process today. So staff, the student senate and United undergrads will host five separate town halls on this campus and then a sixth town hall meeting actually going to kick it all off but that's going to be held on the Sacramento campus early this morning it all begins at 8 a.m. Now here at the Mondavi Center these five different town hall meetings are all designated for specific groups however students are being invited to any of those five that may fit their schedule because again as the uh, Associated Students said, the important part here is to make sure that students, faculty, and staff have their voices and their input included in this search for a replacement for Linda Katehi. And by the way, Janet Napolitano expected to announce her final recommendation to the UC Board of Regents on who should replace Linda Katehi in the, quote, winter or spring of 2017. Outside the Mondavi Center on the campus of UC Davis, Mike Tassell, KCRA 3 News.